This is the Wubin F5 area light and power bank. If you're interested in hearing why I like this light so much, keep watching. All right, before we begin, I just want to declare that this light was sent to me for testing and review by Wubin, and I did not pay for it. However, I'm receiving no compensation for the making of this video or from the sale of any of these lights. All right, so what we'll do is we'll go down to the tabletop, I'll go over its key features, I'll go over its physical and performance specification, I'll go over its modes of operation, and then of course, we'll do some testing. Before we take a closer look at the light itself, let me show you what else came with it. So this is the box that it arrived in. Inside of the box is to begin with the operating manual and warranty information. USB Type-C charging cable that can be used not only for charging the light, but for discharging, or in other words, re recharging another uh, item like a cell phone. Lanyard, a little different than the lanyards you usually get from Wuven, this one being made completely of synthetic materials, but still very strong. And a very nice quality S-beaner, as you can see, and I'll show you how that will work with the light in a moment. All right, let's bring the light back in. So what I'm going to do is go over some of its key features just for a moment, and then, of course, we'll talk about the specifications of the, of the light. And as I do, I'll give you close-ups as well. So one of the things that makes this stand out as an area light is that it, in fact, has three colors or three light colors temperatures as they're called. I'll talk more about those in a moment. This makes this different than just about every other camping light that I'm aware of. It more like an area light or fill light you might use for photography and it can be used for that. It can be used as a power bank to recharge other devices as I mentioned and I'll show you more but this is where the charging port is on it. It does have a 5200 milliamp battery which is a good size when you consider that it's a light as well as a power bank. It has a large well-made sturdy ring on the back that can be used for hanging it maybe from inside of a tent or it can also be used to stand the light up at a certain degree and angle. It has a magnet built into the base and let me bring in my ruler to show you just how strong this is. I mean that's plenty strong to hold on to any metal surface. And it does have a screw mount on the bottom, which is a quarter inch 20 thread. So that's compatible with virtually every type of camera mount that at least I am aware of. And I'll show you how I've been using that. And one last feature is it does have the breathing light, which a number of the Wubin flashlights have. And I'll show you how that operates again in a moment. I find that especially helpful for locating a flashlight, or in this case, this camping light, when I'm inside a very dark area like a tent. So the weight of the Wubin F5 is 7.16 ounces or 203 grams. It is slightly rectangular in shape, so it is 3.3 inches or 84 millimeters in this direction and 3.07 inches or 78 millimeters in this direction with a total height of 1.2 inches or 28.5 millimeters. It is available in two colors. This is a nice hard anodized green aluminum case and it is also available in black. So for this video I'm going to do some of the modes of operation combined with the performance specifications because I think it's easier to understand if I do it that way. So let me just finish giving you a close-up around the outside. Here you can see the quarter inch 20 mounting uh, bracket. There you can see where the lanyard would hook in at that corner. Here is the charging port and discharging port. So you can see the USB type A uh, port here and the USB type C port there. So that covers up. Continue around. Here is where the three or excuse me, four lights are that will indicate not only the battery strength when you first turn the light on and when it's charging, but also the breathing light, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. And finally, on this side, 
side are the three buttons. In the center is the on-off power button, and to each side is the uh, plus or negative, which will allow you to work your way up through the intensities in the lumens. All right, let's just back up, and I'm going to demonstrate each of the color modes that comes with this light, because that's one of the things that makes this stand out and a little different from just about every other light that I'm aware of. Anyway, this light is has three different colors that it can generate, or three different temperatures, either way you want to express it. It will come in at a very white high intensity 5700 Kelvin with a slightly more yellow 4500 Kelvin and then an even more softer yellow 3000 Kelvin and for each of those intensities it'll have a different lumen setting so let me demonstrate first I start by turning the light on with a single press of the power button and we are at the lowest setting for the 5700 lumen you can see just how white it is now let me work my way up and there are two ways of doing this with those buttons and i can see the camera trying to compensate for the additional light so that's what makes this challenging but i can either press the plus button to work my way up three settings of high medium or low medium and high or i can hold the button down and do an infinity kind of right uh, movement through the light setting. So let me just do it using the plus button holding it down. So right now we are at a 10 lumen setting which will run for 190 hours which is pretty pretty impressive all by itself. If I press the button and come up to the medium setting this is 140 lumens which it will last for 20 hours. And if I press it again, I come up to 500 lumens, which will last for five minutes, and then drop down to 300 lumens, which will last for another 10 minutes. All right, let me just take it back down to the lowest setting. There we go, and the camera is compensating. If I double press the on-off button, it'll shift into the Next color mode, and this is the 4500 Kelvin. So we're at the lowest setting for that of eight lumens. And again, it will run for 190 hours. Bring it up one setting. It will come in at 130 lumens, which again will run for 20 hours. And then at the highest setting on the 4500 Kelvin, we have 480 lumens for five minutes and that then it will knock down to 200 lumens. Let me take it back down to the lowest setting again, and I double press the W again, and I come to an even more yellowish light, and this is 3000 Kelvin. And starting at the bottom, we have seven lumens. Press the plus button once, and we have 120 lumens, and, and I press the button again. Up at its highest level, 430 lumens, dropping down to 230 lumens. All right, I also wanted to show you that by holding my finger down on the negative button, it will slowly decrease right down to its lowest setting, and the camera compensates for that. Let me go back to the whiter of the lights. So this is the whitest light, 5700 Kelvin, at the lowest setting. Hold my finger on the plus button and it will slowly work its way up to the top. So you do get a great number of settings or a variability in the lumen output for this light. And it does have a memory as well. So if I turn it off and then turn it back on, same color, same intensity. So as I mentioned a minute ago, that it does have a battery level indicator, but it only operates when you first turn the light on, and you can see all four lights are of that battery level indicator are illuminated right now, and then it goes out. So it, uh, it doesn't last very long. However, when you plug it in for charging, you will get a, a constant reminder of just how much power is in the battery until it reaches its full charge. To activate the breathing light, like many of the Wuben lights, it's a triple press of the on-off switch. So one, two, three, and the light will come on in the breathing mode where it comes on and then starts to fade out and then comes back on again. And it turn that off is just another triple click of the on-off button, two, three, and then it will turn off. 
So what I'd like to do is just take a few moments to talk about some of the uses I have found for the Wuben F5. Obviously, the very first one is as an area light. So we did have a snowstorm recently where we did lose power for a short period of time, and I found that this light came in very handy for illuminating whatever room I was in in the house at that time. I have also used it as a power bank for charging my phone, not because I needed it because I was at home, but more because I wanted to test out and see how well it would work. And yes, it works very well for charging my phone or my tablet or another light for that matter. So those are the uh, you know usual things you would use this light for, but it's the next three things that were a little unusual and I'll explain. So one of the things I really appreciate about this light is this uh, quarter inch 20 thread mount for, for on the base of it. And I can attach that to a tripod like this. In this case, it is a Gorilla tripod that I have. And what I found is that I was able to, or am able, and use it quite often for when I'm doing reviews of other items. Right here at this table, quite often I'll look for a little bit more light so you get a little bit more clarity in what I'm recording. And that I can set this and mount it wherever I want, just out of camera range, and turn the light on. And you can see it provides me quite a bit of light right where exactly I need it. So that's a very handy use that I've used it for quite often over the last number of videos where I've been working here at the house. Another use for it I found is um, actually more recording. And this is a little bit different, but what I found is I'm using it now in the woods to record flashlight videos, which is kind of an interesting uh, twist on things. So the area that I go to to record my nighttime scenes with the flashlights is obviously very dark. It has to be in order for you to appreciate the light, but it is so dark. In other words, there's no ambient light that the camera doesn't work very well. Now, the camera is uh, is good for working in the dark, but it does require some ambient light. And what I found is without some type of an ambient light backup that uh, the you weren't able to see the light function properly until it got to the higher intensity. So I I began taking this light with me, mounted on this tripod, and then I could wrap it around a tree or a tree branch or even set it on the ground if I needed to and provide a little background light, a little ambient light. And I found that it just makes the recording of the testing, the nighttime testing of the other flashlights, just a little easier. Now, the final use is something I did not foresee using it for when I first got the light, but it's very effective for that, and that is video conferencing. So I do still have consulting work that I do, and I do volunteer work, and right now they are both being done, for the most part, online with video conferencing. So I found that if I set this up on my computer desk next to my monitor where my webcam is, then I can dial in not only the intensity of the, of the light, but the color of the light that works best to allow me to use my video conferencing without a whole lot of shadow or a whole much, too much bright light on my face. So those are three uh, alternative uses that I didn't necessarily foresee when I first uh, got the, or received the light. Now, if I was a still photographer, which I'm not that talented at, uh, I would think this would also provide an even more lighting options with those three colors for proper fill in the background. But uh, that's just a little bit outside of my skill level. All right, for this demonstration, I thought I'd do something a little different. So rather than go out into the woods as I normally would with a flashlight, I'm going to record here in my home in my gear room downstairs. And I think that more accurately represents where you're likely to be using a light like this, since it is an area light or a fill light that you'll be using it in a tent or a home. So uh, right now I have the light turned on to the lowest level on the white light, the 5700 Kelvin. So that'd be at 10 lumens. Let's take it up to the medium level. So immediately you can see how much brighter the 140 lumens is in this room. So I'm standing right next to my camera and the back end of the room is about 20, 18, 20 feet away. So it's doing a good job of filling the room up. Adequate light in here for safety purposes, but maybe not enough for, you know, working. Uh, I could read with this light, but I don't think I could do any precision work that I might want to unless it was close. Now, if this, if this 
this was very close to the spot that I was working at, then I think this would work. Let's take it up to the high level of 500 lumens. So there we are, that's 500 lumen. That fully illuminates the room, as you can see, just casting it around. Yeah, that's pretty good. I don't know if I mentioned this, but at 500 lumens on the white light, the beam cast is about 25 meters. The other thing I don't think I mentioned before is this has an IP rating of 64 and a one meter impact resistance. So yeah, I think that's probably an adequate demonstration of this light. All right, let's wrap this video up with a few pro and con for the Wubin F5 area light and power bank. So what are the things I like most about it? Well, I have found it to be a much more versatile light than I was really thought it would be in the beginning. Obviously, it works well as an area light for power outages or camping or any other uh, situation where you need that light. But I have found its versatile mounting options to be the most beneficial. So in addition to having the ring on the back that allows me to hang it from a uh, above or to use it to set up on an angle on a flat surface or with the integrated magnet on the base. I really like this quarter inch 20 tripod mount that has allowed me, as I mentioned a minute ago, to use it as a supplemental light for doing tabletop reviews, as a light out in the woods for doing flashlight reviews, and as a supplemental light for doing video conferencing. Those are things I didn't anticipate using this light for when I first got it, but I think I'm appreciating that the most about this light. Now, there are the three color temperatures or three colors for the light. I find that I probably don't use all those colors all that often. I'm using the white light, the neutral daytime light, the most often. It's nice to have those other ones there, and I'm sure I will use them more as I become more familiar with what they're probably best suited for. I like that it has a 5200 milliamp battery that I can use for recharging other devices. I, would I use it for that very often? Probably not because I do carry other larger power banks, but it's nice to know that I have that ability to charge another item if I need to in a short term, like a phone that's running dead on me. So yeah, there's a number of things to like about this light. Now, I also like, and I know not everyone appreciates that, the breathing light. Uh, having used a different flashlight with a breathing light for camping last summer, I found that it was great that I could uh, find the light very readily on the floor of my tent but did not have a light that was on eco or moon or whatever low mode that provided more light than I needed. The flashing breathing light was makes it easy to find. And I think one of the best features about this light is its affordability. So when you check the links out below uh, and you see the price on this light, I think you'll agree that for everything you get in this light, it is a highly affordable light. Okay, that's all I have to share with you today on the Wubin F5. If you have any questions, post them in the underneath this video in the comment section, and I will be sure to provide you all the information, not only where you can purchase it, but the specifications for this light there as well. All right, until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.